Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kat Nagar, and I am the director of the Atlanta Historic Dance Company, and I will be your dance mistress this evening. Tonight, we're going to talk a little bit about deportment, honors, and some steps that you can do uh, during the Regency time period. So as far as deportment, posture is so incredibly important for both men and women. A lot of times, you would have had a brand new outfit or your very best outfit on. And um, slouching doesn't do anything to <laughs> show off your beautiful dress. So you wanna make sure you have those shoulders back, stomach is tucked in, your fanny is tucked under. And you can just imagine that you have a little string at the top of your head that is elongating your spine. So you remember, uh, you may have done this, where you walked around the house with the book on your head to be graceful. That's exactly what you want to uh, portray when you're at a Regency dance. Everybody's footwork should be nice and light. They didn't do a lot of um, heavy bouncing. This wasn't sort of a, a hoedown sort of a thing. Um, I, and I, again, I'm talking about a little bit more formal balls. As you can see, I'm dressed for a formal occasion. I've got my white gloves on and my white slippers. So if this was a, a more casual dance, you might do something a little bit more um, rambunctious. But for this, we're talking about a little bit more elegant the upper classes when they were dancing. So gentlemen, when you're going to dance with a lady, you wanna make sure to offer your hand and then the lady can gently put her hand in his. So um, what you will see at a lot of modern dances is uh, ladies doing modern things such as sticking their hand out to turn with the gentleman and that really wasn't done so gentlemen you want to make sure to be proactive and offer that hand so that the lady can take it and it will uh, remain as period as possible okay so honors during this time period the ladies are going to hold their skirt out to the side put the right foot forward and do a curtsy gentlemen you have your hands at the side and you just bend at the waist. Now I know that different honors were done at different times. It depends on what time period and what country you were in. But uh, this is an honor that was um, okayed by the Regency dance instructor I was studying with in New York. I also found notation that, that described this from the period. So I feel very comfortable with this sort of an honor. I don't know exactly what time period it turned into this curtsy, but you're welcome to do either or. So for today, I am doing this one. Okay, so a very basic thing that you can do to uh, raise your level of Regency dance experience is add in a chasse. Most English country dances today are done with walking, and the chasse step is something that uh, is very easy to do. You can practice it so the next time you go to a dance, you are ready and you can show off to all your friends. And I do have some additional footwork for those who are wanting to do um, a little bit more, maybe those who have had some dance experience and want something that's a little bit more challenging. So we're gonna start with the uh, five basic ballet positions. And I am standing in first position, so my heels are together. My feet are out at a 45 degree angle. This is first position. Second position, I'm gonna take a step to the side and my weight is under my shoulders. This is second position. Third position, I'm going to take the heel of my right foot, bring it in to the middle, the instep of the left foot. This is third position. Fourth position, I'm gonna slide that right foot forward and my weight is evenly distributed between the front foot and the back. And finally, fifth position, you're gonna take the heel of your right foot, slide it to the toe of your left foot, and that is fifth position. So the chasse step, I'm just gonna show you what it is, the basic step, and then I'll get a little bit more technical for those who are interested. So your chasse step, turn to the side here. Step forward with the right, close, right, hop. Left, close, left, hop. That is a chasse. Let me show you what it looks like. Chasse. 
chasse, chasse, chasse. You could do it to the back. Chasse, chasse, chasse. Now, doesn't that look more fancy than your walking step? Okay, so for those of you who are interested in the more technical, we are stepping forward, closing in third, and forward. Pop. Step, close in third, step, pop. So why don't we try just the chasse step with a little bit of music. This is um, Wakefield Hunt. to the chasse is a jeté assemblé. So let's pretend that we have done three chassés, spinning on our right foot. A jeté is the left foot going out to the side and you're going to jump on it. The right foot is behind. The right foot is going to brush out to the side and you're going to land in first position. So again, that was, you just finish your third chasse, left foot up to the side, jump on it, right foot up to the side, land in first position. So let me do it this direction. Jeté, assemblé. One more time. Jeté, Assemblé. So let's try that all together. Three chasses and a jeté assemblé. Five, six, ready, go. Chasse, 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 jeté assemblé. Again. Five, six, ready, go. Chasse, 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 jeté assemblé. Okay. So let's try that with the music. I sent, you'll see the dance, Already Such Skipper. And Already Such Skipper, we have um, a version with eight counts that is doing that step. So it's seven chasses, a jeté assemblé. And then the second part, you'll see uh, three chasses and a jeté assemblé. So you can really see that footwork being utilized in a dance. All right, so what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, the first part of that, we'll have our imaginary dance partner here. And what we're going to do is we are going to take hands and lead down through the twos. For those of you who are not familiar with sets, the ladies are all on one line. Gentlemen are all on one line. And you at the head would be where the music is. So as ones, we would take hands, lead down through the twos. Gentlemen would cast back up. I'm going to cast back up this way to original positions. And we're going to do a two hand turn. And then we'll do the same thing. We're going to lead up through this couple. And do a two hand turn.
thing I want to teach you today is the setting step for the Regency. Some of the, you may have done this, um, had a lot of people do the earlier version, and we want to focus on the Regency step. So the setting step looks like this. It's three steps. Starting with the right, you're going to go right, left, right. You're going to stick your left foot out. So again, that is right, left, right. Shift to the back. Right, left, right. Okay. Right, left, right. So your left foot out. Now we're going to go the other direction. Left, right, left. Stick the right foot out. And it looks like this. So let's try that with music. It's been a pleasure speaking with you this evening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your ball. I, I'm very honored that I got a chance to be here with you this evening. Good night. <laughs>